Okay, so we're looking at calculating net pay here. Now there's a difference between gross pay and net pay. It's really important that you understand the difference between those two. Uh, gross pay is the amount of pay that your employer pays you. That's gross pay. So it's the amount of money that comes out of your employer's pocket and gets handed to you. Now the problem that you find as an employee is that before it gets to you from your employer's hand, it also needs to go to a few other people. Uh, you have to pay tax, so the tax will go to the government first. You also might have to pay union fees, depending on what industry you're in. Uh, you might also need to pay some money to superannuation. There are also other things you might need to pay as well. Once the pay arrives in your hand, after all of those deductions have been made, that's called your net pay. So, employer hands over the money, that's gross pay. The money goes to a variety of different places, tax, union fees, whatever. Once it's gone to those other places, whatever is left is your net pay. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, calculation here so you can see how it works in practice. Uh, Bob's gross pay is $950 a week. So $950 a week, that's what his employer would like to pay. He pays $178 in tax to the government uh, and his union fees are $11.40 a week. It's nice to be in the union, the union will look after you if there's any kind of troubles, etc. Et uh, how much is his net pay per week? Okay, so his net pay is equal to his gross pay minus deductions. Alright, so it's a pretty straightforward concept. Uh, this video is really easy. The next video we'll do will be slightly more complicated, some extra little bits in there. So his gross pay, $950 a week. The tax that goes to the government is $178 per week. The union fees are $11.40 a week. And whatever's left over is going to end up being his net pay. So $950 minus $178 minus $11.40. We get $760.60. Okay, so his employer gave him $950, but before it got all the way to him, some tax came out, some union fees came out, and after that $950 and the deductions, the employee gets $760.60. Okay, that's net pay. In the next video, we'll look at a slightly more complicated version of this.